before a site event at the UN General Assembly took place last week to condemn human rights abuses in Xinjiang, China, on September 14th, sent a warning to members attending the event. According to Bitter Winter, the Chinese regime warned that it resolutely opposes the notorious anti-China organizations obsessed with fabricating lies and spreading malicious disinformation about Xinjiang with no respect for the truth. The regime said the event was a plot to undermine Xinjiang's stability and disrupt China's peaceful development, and urged members not to attend. However, representatives of 27 nations still came to the event and condemned the Chinese regime's human rights abuses. Rayan Asat, a Uyghur human rights lawyer whose brother disappeared after his detention in 2016, chaired the meeting. Asat said, China has robbed us of months and years of being with our loved ones through mass detention, imprisonment, lengthy sentences, and separation. The magnitude of pain and trauma China has inflicted upon families like mine and upon the Uyghur community as a whole is immeasurable and guaranteed to reverberate for generations to come. Beth Van Schaak, Ambassador at Large for Global Criminal Justice at the Office of Global Criminal Justice U.S., said repression against Uyghurs in Xinjiang continues. She added that the Chinese regime has imprisoned 15,000 people, with sentences ranging from five years to life without trial. In addition, arbitrary arrests, document confiscations, travel restrictions, mass surveillance, forced abortions, and forced labor are common in Xinjiang. German Foreign Office's Director for Asia and the Pacific, Peter Leffelhart, said that the Chinese regime committed severe human rights violations in direct violation of its signed international law. Belen Martinez Carbonell, managing director for multilateral affairs at the European External Action Service, said the EU wants to eradicate forced labor from the supply chains. Agnes Kayamard, secretary general of Amnesty International, notes that Xinjiang has faded from the headlines but the situation of human rights repression there has not changed, and cases of arbitrary detention and harsher sentences are still on the rise.